Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. For fans of the Indiana Pacers who've been clamoring for change, well, you're getting your wish. From big roster moves to a $360 million facelift, both inside and outside of Gainbridge Fieldhouse, the franchise is getting a new look both on and off the court. The man in line to be the next owner of the franchise has quietly been working behind the scenes on a blueprint for the future. And this week I sat down with Steve Simon. In the crossroads of America, the Indiana Pacers are a team at a crossroads, charting a new course. Deep three. The Pacers dealt multiple players before the trade deadline earlier this year, and the addition of top draft pick Benedict Mathurin adds to a team that is younger, more athletic, and has lots of new faces. Scores his first NBA point. The man who is in line to one day be the team's next owner likes what he sees. So we're going to have an exciting, dynamic team that's fun to watch. We're going to get better, and we're convicted to build a really good, competitive, knock on wood, championship caliber team. And I think we got some great um, young talent and some great veterans. and. You know, the great thing is we, we the fans deserve a, you know, a winner, right? And that's that's our job is to give them that. Steve Simon has purposely stayed out of the limelight. Years ago, deciding against a long career in the family mall development business, leaving Indiana for the San Francisco Bay Area, where for the past 20 years, he has led private equity firm Simon Equity Partners. But he returns to Indiana often and he wears his affinity for Indianapolis on his sleeve. The longer I'm gone, the more connected and rooting for and appreciative of Indiana, the Midwest, of Hoosier hospitality, the way we work together. Um, that is different than a lot of places and our, our DNA of the, the city and the state and the Hoosiers um, and that kind of community is, is becomes more and more um, you know, inside me and, and resonates more and more. Pacer fans are going to want to know what, what, what kind of an owner is Steve Simon going to be? How, how would you describe your, your style, your, the thought process? What, what would you, what would you say to those uh, inquiring uh, Pacer fans who are wondering uh, about uh, your, your ownership style? I mean, I'm, you know, it's the same ownership style I've, you know, I think I've been, employing like how do i you know how do i be myself right how do i um continue to learn and grow always have smarter people around me you know how do i listen better i'm always working on how do i listen better you know bring more compassion to various roles i get to you know i get to do a lot of different things you know beyond pacer sports and entertainment and uh it's it's fortunate so how do i bring my authentic self and i think you know as a, as a boss or an owner or someone who's leading people, like how do I show my own frailties, admit my mistakes and, you know, want to, I think, continue to radically learn and get better. And I think that gives people, you know, around you the ability to admit their frailties, get to know themselves better, ultimately be more connected to themselves and other, other folks and, and be better, more effective leaders and, and, you know, contributing to an organization. So I think it's, you know, this is, you know, touchy feely stuff, but this is sort of the way I think about it um, yeah. as an owner. As yeah, I read a quote uh, in an article uh, from NBA Commissioner Adam Silver, who said in many ways, and he had many nice things to say about you, but um, he said in, in, in many ways or some ways, I, I think that Steve will be Herb Simon 2.0 from an ownership standpoint, agree with that, disagree. What's your, what's your take? on? Take what Herb's done, the way he treats people, the way he's compassionate and, and, and allows folks to operate without micromanagement. Certainly a lot of those things are very similar to um, our styles, which um, have a lot of similarity. There's some, <laughs> there's some differences, but if I can take the, you know, the bedrock of my dad, which he's always wants to be the best partner, as, as stewards of, you know, of Gamebridge Fieldhouse, you know, in the history of that, of that building being a community asset, you know, how can we get back in the community? You know, there's certainly, you know, um, tax generation, economic contribution, you know, that'll be, you know, excited about amplifying even more, um, you know, as, as the building, um, you know, continues to get renovated and modernized, which we're excited about, but still keeping the guts of 
we think is the best basketball arena. We, you know, fortunate to get to host um, All Star in 24 and have that be a, another bring the world to Indianapolis. Also, economic contribution, but the idea of like Indianapolis does so well with their amenities and all the great stewards of the city, but to bring the world there, you know, and showcase this intimate, beautiful, multifaceted city, you know, it is part of the you know the fabric that I think makes it you know rich and and additive to the to the city and the state and and you know the people it gets to touch that you know the organization, you know how do we build more belongingness and culture and um, and service to the community. You can see my full interview with Steve Simon on the Business and Beyond podcast. Just go to InsideIndianaBusiness.com. For some perspective now, let's turn to Inside Indiana Sports contributor Bill Benner. Bill, uh, you have worked for the Pacers. You, you know Steve and, and the Simon family. For those who don't know, because a lot of people just don't know about Steve Simon, what kind of a leader ultimately one day will he be for the he, franchise? He's a, he's a very astute um, young, uh, young man, younger man, yeah. than, uh, and, and quite... Uh, he doesn't know, want to know just your goals. He wants to know how you're going to get there. He's very strategic. He's a critical thinker. And, uh, but most of all, Gary, he cares deeply, deeply mm -hmm. about the Indiana Pacers and most, of, of course, about his, his yeah. father's legacy. I was going to ask you quickly, too, because that struck me. You know, he's out in California, has been for a couple of decades, but very connected, very knowledgeable, and really cares about Indianapolis and Indiana. That really came through in the interview. Well, yeah, and he, I mean, he's a, he's an Indiana guy. He's right. an Indianapolis uh, guy, yeah. and, and he does care deeply about the city. And I think he I think he will be forward thinking. I think he knows enough to know to know what he doesn't know. Meaning he will yeah. continue to like Herb has done to let the basketball guys do the basketball, yeah. and Steve will see the the bigger picture. Bill Benner, great perspective as always. Thanks.